How to change a background in Photoshop with Generative Fill AI. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Design Dynamo. Today we are diving into one of the coolest new features in Photoshop Generative Fill powered by AI. And this amazing tool lets you replace backgrounds or extend your canvas with realistic AI generated content. Before starting to watch this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my channel Design Dynamo and hit that bell icon and select all options so you will be notified whenever I release a new video content. So let's jump on in. Now guys, let's get started and open a Photoshop and here open an image you want to edit. We will use the selection tool to isolate our subject. The select subject button is a great starting point for portraits or simple backgrounds. So with your subject selected, we need to tell Photoshop what to fill in with and here comes the magic. So go to contextual taskbar downside here you will see the option is select subject. I'm going to click it. And uh, here you will see there is option inward our selection. So I'm going to click this inward selection. So it will select entire background and leaving the subject here you will see unselected. Okay. So go to contextual taskbar and here you will see generative fill option so you can type anything from a basic concept like forest or beach or or something specific mountain landscape at sunset any prompt you write here to generate a background to change a background of your picture so here i'm going to type uh, sand dune and hit generate and look at this guys photoshop will create a few backgrounds variations based on your prompt you can check it from here and if you want to regenerate it press here regenerate uh, again so it will give you more options now guys let's take another example and in this picture i am going to select this subject but if we select uh, the subject here so maybe it is not selected properly because uh, this is a complex subject so here you'll see some areas not selected here you will see so this time i'm going to deselect it and uh, this time i'm going to use object selection tool in the tool panel the short key is w and here you will see it is much easier than uh, any selection tool so you can use any selection tool to select your subject so i'm going to select my subject with the help of object selection tool to replace this background so first i'm going to select this and by holding shift key to add selection more selections so let's check it out which area is not selected While holding shift key, just make Having is perfectly fine. Let's check it out over all subject.
Now guys, our subject is selected and go to contextual taskbar and here I'm going to inverse our selection and go to generate a fill and write here a prompt highway and hit generate. And now look at this guys, uh, Photoshop generate a fill will remove the background get the right color shadows and reflections to give you few options and here you will see the variations based on our prompt and it is just like a magic and look at this the right shadow and reflections and it is uh, it is much easier than before to changing a background by using generative full ai now guys let's uh, check it out our other example and this time i'm going to use photoshop beta 25.10 version and because uh, some of the features uh, which is not available in photoshop so we're just going to check it out here to removing the background so i'm going to select subject I'm making word selection to place backgrounds and here I'm going to use a reference image to make more realistic backgrounds so choose a background image and here um, I downloaded lots of uh, options so I'm going to open this image and I'm going to write symbol background front hit generate and look at this guys photoshop gave you a few background variations according to our reference image and here you will see it is awesome and you will see the shadows and the lightings all are awesome so here three options which is based on your prompt and reference image and it's amazing result. Let's check it out to uh, other reference image. I want to replace the image from this. Just take a quick look at this image. And uh, let's select another example. This image, this time, let's check it out. This image and replace it and hit generate look at this guys this feature is awesome in photoshop beta to replace a background by using reference image or by using generative ai changing backgrounds it's much easier than before so you can easily remove a background or replace it with any uh, prompt you like uh, you generate anything like forest park gardens anything beach Write, write a prompt here in the contextual taskbar and generate it. Now guys, let's take another example. And in this picture, uh, we're just going to change a background. And in this time, I'm going to replace it with the gradient fill. So with the help of generative fills, first going to select our subject. Make inverse selection by selecting this button. Go to generative fill and uh, type a prompt like gradient, blue, pink, purple, magenta, red and uh, hit generate and look at this guys uh, what I write here I'm using Photoshop beta and uh, in this uh, you will see the variations and uh, I like this result because this is some like uh, a little bit closer to my prompt and look at this how quickly we I'm going to zoom in and uh, here you will see how quickly you replace the background and uh, you'll see its ages and all this is too much uh, amazing and how quickly you remove the background and change with the gradient fill and uh, this image is awesome let's check it out this example this is so much simple and I want to delete this background by simple selecting select subject and by the help of generative fill 
we just remove all the distractions from this picture the background inverse the selection hit generate a fill and uh, simply you can change uh, the background simply select an image and choose image and here i'm going to select this picture and write a prompt background and look at this guys how quickly photoshop promote the background and uh, this feature is only available in photoshop beta which is a reference image option and uh, it will be available on future release of photoshop so it is so much easy to replace a background choose the variations or you can regenerate more options now guys let's check it out our last example and in this picture i'm going to remove all these uh, studio distractions to remove the background and here you will see there is two subjects this model and the photographer so this time i'm going to use object selection tool to make perfect selections so i'm going to select it this sofa by using object selection tool press shift key press shift key to add more selections Okay, now guys go to contextual taskbar and this contextual taskbar i'm going to expand our selection a little bit 10 pixels and uh, inverse our selection and uh, hit here invert our selection you'll see this selection is inverted and i'm going to go to generative fill and here i'm going to use generative generate image uh, by using a reference image and here choose image and this feature is only available in photoshop beta and just a quick look of this picture this environment and uh, click open and simply write out prompt background and hit generate and look at this guys the magic of photoshop ai generative fill and uh, it will give you three options three variations based on our reference image reference prompt so uh, just guys look at this generative fill is a powerful tool that opens up a world of creative possibilities it can save you tons of time and effort when it comes to background editing of course, with any AI tool, it's all about experimentation and seeing what kind of results you can achieve. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel, Designed Animal. Thanks for watching.